welcome to Puck Luck 716. Tonight, we're going to find out what all the buzz is about the newest upper deck release, Allure. Six cards per pack, eight packs per box. They're shiny like OPG, so if you like OPG, you're good. If you like parallels, this is the set for you. And if you like rookies, that's the set for you. And we're going to supplement that with a Panini playbook. Three cards in there, one booklet, and one autograph or mem memorabilia card per pack. Those are the odds if you want to pause right there and check them out. Otherwise, we're just going to dig right into Allure. Fortunate to have my lovely wife doing this again with me. 110%. 110%. Got to get pucks deep. Wait. <laughs> she brought me so much luck with the other one. She's got to be the good luck charm, right? So, I made the mistake of watching a bunch of videos. Um, man, some were really good and some were really just not very good. So, I don't know what to expect except that I think that everybody got a uh, memorabilia card right smack in the first pack. So we'll see. And then Upper Deck's got another one. I don't know what the name of it is, but they're touting yet another new release. And this one didn't come with instructions. There we go. So here we go. Eight packs. I don't think any of them look any thicker than the other ones. I don't know whether I have any hope for that or not. But here we go. The first pack of Allure. 1920. Ready to do this? I'm ready. Pack one. Wow. They protect them a little bit better than they did. Here we go. And with all these videos, like the cards really do look beautiful. And they look a lot like OPG. So here we go. Oliver Ekman Larson with your Coyotes. A nice looking card. It's a pretty card. It's a really good card. I love the design. There's your base card. And the top 50, Dante Fabro. With your Preds. And just like absolutely every single one of these videos I've watched, we did get the memorabilia card in the first pack of Dante Fabro, which is kind of cool since we got the other one. Not numbered. We have received a trading card. You have received a trading card with Dante Fabro Hockey Memorabilia that has been certified to the Upper Deck Company as having been worn by the featured player. So he could have been laying around his apartment wearing that jersey and they still cover it. Max Jones, another, another base card. And rookies, you get tons of rookies. Tons and tons of rookies. And Rasmus Sundin. What do you think so far? What's your first impression? They're pretty cards. They are pretty cards. But I don't think you're impressed. Um, I like OPG Platinum a lot. And it seems like OPG Platinum. Except not quite. Alexander Texier. Rookie. And I really do think that if, you know... It's a great set to get rookies. It's a great set to get parallels. P.K. Subban having just a really non-existent year this year, which is really unlike him. Should have stayed in Nashville. Oh, look, another Dante Fabro. Yet another parallel. 
and a die cut Taylor Sagan. Oh, cool. Top shelf. Top shelf. Where Mama had the cookies. And that one's not numbered. Vaccination. Our rookie card. They really are nice cards. And Mark Giordano. Now this is one that they're supposed to come out with with retail offerings and I think I think that I'd be tempted to buy buy into the retail side of it instead of the hobby box. I think you can get the hobby box for I don't know anywhere from a 75 to 85 somewhere around there. Okay, what do we got here? Johnny Goudreau base. But they are good looking cards, aren't they? They are. Nico Hishier. Another top 50. Trent Frederick with your Bruins. I actually like those die cut I think this is a white rainbow yeah oh Sebastian Ajo See, that's just a really pretty card Max Domi and Anders Lee well I can't complain at all about the quality because they really are beautiful cards Barrett Hayden. The Coyotes. Another rookie card. You'll see a batch of them. Anthony Mantha. He's actually having a pretty good year. Despite the dismal performance of the Detroit Red Wings, he's actually having a decent year. Hey, and a storm warning. Zach Parise. Not numbered. Another insert, and our autograph is Philippe Myers from your Flyers. Not too shabby. Nice. Very cool. And Nico Sturm, rookie. And let me know in the comments if you guys have opened this stuff up. What you thought. If everything we got was kind of the same or if it was, you know, you got more of one thing or another. Matt Duchesne, base card. Capo Caco, top 50. I think that's the first card of him I've pulled. Trent Frederick. Rookie White Rainbow. That's a good looking card, huh? Mm -hmm. Victor Olafson, there's the guy. There it is. There he is. With your sabers. He had a killer game the other night, came back off injury and scored two goals, propelling the sabers to a victory. This kid doesn't get rookie of the year. Ah, uh, the Calder Cup, I just don't I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. The kid is absolutely, he's going to be a superstar. Phil Kessel, the hot dog eater in the hot dog uniform. Not my favorite guy. After he tried to lumberjack a couple of sabers. And Jake Getzel. Three more packs. Let's see if we get something fun. And your captain, oh, captain, my captain, Jack Eichel. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. That'll go on the shelf. We'll just go ahead and put him, he and Oli together because, well, they play on the same line together. Having an outstanding year. Jack has taken this team, and while they're still a little bit out of the playoff spot, they're not far out. Eric Brandstrom with your Senators. 
but there is a ton of rookies, which is kind of cool. If you're into rookies, it's a cool thing. Nathan Bastian. Oh, now this is cool. Iced out. Leon oh, Dry. That? It's iced out. Leon Dreisaitl. That's very cool, isn't it? Not numbered. Steven Stamkos. With a red rainbow. And Nikita Gusev. With your doubles. All right, let's see. I can honestly say that in the videos that I've watched, I haven't seen anybody get huge hits. Although I have seen guys, or seen some on eBay and um, a couple of guys trading back and forth. So Kirby Duck, another rookie. Kale Fleury, another rookie. Now see, that's where it's starting to come in. You know, these guys are going to be something in the NHL. It would be nice to have those cards. Mackenzie McEachern, top 50. Ooh, that all looks like a cool one. That's cool. And look at that thing. Ooh. Cam Atkinson with your blue jackets. 3 of 99, green quartz. <laughs> nice. That's very cool, isn't it? <laughs> wow, I like that. Alexander Barkov and Ben Bishop. All right, one more pack of Allure. So far, my favorite is the Cam Atkinson. How about yours? Oh. All right, Philip Zadina. This is just Choco Buck block full of rookies <clears throat> and again not complaining Trent Frederick Nick Suzuki he's been playing like crazy Noah Dobson white rainbow not numbered there's a Cam Am Atkinson base Everybody's favorite rookie so far, except for mine, because mine's Olofsson. Jack Hughes. He's having a good year. The kid's going to be a star. All right. So. Rookie cards, Jack Hughes. Nick Suzuki. Trent Frederick. Philip Zadina. Kale Fleury. Kirby Dock. Nikita Gusev. Nathan Bastian, Eric Brandstrom, Nico Sturm, Brett Hayden, Zach Sanitian, Alexander Texier, Rasmus Sandin, and Max Jones. That's a... And don't forget Victor Olofsson. And then the inserts we got are the parallels. Noah Dobson White Ice. This is very cool. Green Quartz of Cam Atkinson. It looks like when you feel it, it should, you know, you should feel the, <laughs> the pumps. Mackenzie Eckern, McEachern, Steven Stamkos, Iced Out. That's a really cool card. I like that. Trent Frederick, Capo Caco, Philippe Myers. That's a pretty good one to have. Winter Storm Warning, Zach Parise. Sebastian Ajo. One of these days, the rest of the NHL is going to figure out that kid's really good. Trent Frederick. Tyler Sagan. Dante Fabro. Dante Fabro or materials card, or whatever you want to call it. Memorabilia. And another Dante Fabro. Okay, so my initial thought is I really like the product. Um, I think you get some really cool stuff. If you're into parallels and if you're into rookies, um, this is a good set for you. I think that I probably will not buy another hobby box of this, 
But I will most definitely, if I see it in retail form, I'll probably do that because it's fun. So, let's do Panini Playbook. Three cards. I haven't seen a whole lot of videos on this, although I did buy... Um, I did buy one of the one of the booklets, Zemgus Gergensen's, for next to nothing, and it was really a, it's really a pretty card. One little pack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't pay a whole lot of money for it either. Ah, one pack. That's like all the eggs in one basket, right? Let's see what we got. Okay. I'll set them over here, so we'll do this. Henrik Sedin. Number to 249. Nice card. It is a nice card. And it feels good. Feel. They're heavy. Thick. Yeah. <clears throat> Joe Thornton. Oh, no, this is cool. 30, 31 of 99. If I'm not mistaken, this is game used, right? Yep, game worn material is guaranteed by Panini America Incorporated. Okay, so the big moment, here we go. Seth Jones first round edition. So this is Seth Jones rookie card. That's automatically got my attention. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Check that out, huh? Big old swatch. Nice autograph. When Jones was drafted by Nashville with the number four pick in 2013, he came to a team that needed another skilled defender to work alongside Captain Shea Weber, who's now up in Montreal. He possesses tremendous skill with the puck and is very reliable in his own zone. He is expected to blossom into a top-tier defenseman, and he has. Well, I can't say that I'm sad about that at all because I think that's a really pretty card. Isn't that a pretty card? It's really nice. Very cool. Excited about that. That was worth it. All right. Well, there you have it. Allure. Um might do it again i probably won't buy a hobby box but you know what you're gonna do um we do have a box of artifacts coming up we got a mail day coming up and we've got a tin of 2015-16 upper deck series 2 so if you like what you saw hit the like button hit that subscribe button and leave a comment about what you liked what you didn't like hopefully about what you liked um you can follow me on twitter i'm at sabers underscore fan underscore 1970 I'm on Instagram at puckluck716 and the cards from this break will go on my Replin store and you can access the access my Replin store through my uh, Twitter account and if they don't sell there then they go right onto eBay so as always thank you very much for watching leave me some comments smash the subscribe button give me a thumbs up and as always Wishing you all the puck luck. Mrs. Puck luck, thanks for doing it again. Thank you for having me. See ya.